guys, it's Lonnie from YouTube, jeepextreme, gmail.com. Anyway, today I'm going to make a thorough video of how to redo the sprocket and chains, sprockets and chain on um, the Honda BFR 800 Interceptor 2002 through 2009. Um, what I've got right here, I'll kind of start it here, is... Uh, this is kind of the beginning of it. I've seen some videos on it, but I'm gonna go a little more in depth as far as what sizes of wrenches, different things like that you'll need. First off, never change uh, just one sprocket. This bike's got about 13,000 miles on it, and we want to change both sprockets and the chain at the same time. I am using this type of chain, which is the factory chain. Um, that would be my opinion to use a dang good chain as you don't want to uh, have your chain break on you. I'm also using super light sprockets because I went with steel um, in the 530 uh, instead of the 530 pitch instead of the 520 pitch. Uh, this is a stock front, teen, or front sprocket for these uh, in the 16 tooth instead of a 17, 18, or 15, or whatnot. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is this is what most guys are running that want a little bit of extra torque. Um, they're running the same front, and then they're using a 45 tooth rear because these are stock 43. So I'm adding two in the back. It's going to give me a little more a little more torque um, and not lose the top end speed that much because that's what I was kind of worried about too. I just wanted a little more muscle from when I pulled the wife and not that she's fat, but anyway. So to get started, what you do is remove this cover plate. Well, first off, you can put it in gear um, and then, you know, turn the bike on or, you know, turn it on to neutral put it in gear and that way you can remove the bolt on your on that I didn't do that I don't like to do that I just went ahead and pushed the rear brake down set on the bike took a freaking wrench with a um, with a bar and then went ahead and just took it loose lefty loosey righty tighty um, that's how it goes on uh, it just comes out oh it is a little washer and bolt right here that's when you get into there before you do that you can take all those bolts loose around this cover um, I left this attached because it's staying attached the actual uh, hydraulic clutch um, mechanism I left it attached um, and just moved it out of the way the whole thing you don't even really have to take this speedo loose um, you could actually keep it together and just move the whole thing out of the way Depends on how much room you have, but I have plenty of room, so I just slid it over and voila. Second off, once you get that done, and this right here, by the way, is a 14 millimeter. These are eights. Once you get that done, take off the uh, Allen wrench screws so you can lift this up a little bit. There's another little looks like Phillips in the back behind it but it's actually it's not coming loose I think it might be just a uh, an actual type of a plastic uh, insert just holding it that pops off pop off type thing okay so you get to the back the back is yeah I think it was 17 hold on a second here yeah 17 millimeter um, and then get you a cheetah bar, take those loose, lefty left, loosey, righty tight. And once you get all those loose, and not too loose, uh, grind off a link so you can take your old chain loose. Right here. Uh, just, you can either cut through it. I got a zip disc I use, like religiously. I just ground it off. I want to use the tool. I got a breaker tool. Right here that I'll be using on it just to break it loose. 
and you can look at another video for that it's pretty simple I'll have to adjust the uh, rear chain with the adjustment tool mine's aftermarket uh, fortunately I didn't get the tool back with this bike but anyway um, oh yeah also you had to take off this peg or this peg right here because when you know it was right in the way of that screw there for the chain cover anyway that's where I'm at right now um, that's pretty much how to disassemble and reassemble is just putting it all back just like it was um, it is a stock 100 link chain that means you if you go two teeth you'll need a 112 link chain so basically it's you know it's that simple just just two extra links for two extra teeth. and a video cut out there but anyway the rest of it is going to be um, cleaning everything as you can see I've got a ton of gunk right there and it's gonna happen um, and it should happen if you're actually lubricating your chains so it will be cleaning everything meticulously before I put it back on and getting everything lubed together anyhow I will be back anyway put it all back together um, these rear bolts are nuts they're going to be 47 pounds foot pounds the front are 37 on the or the front nuts 37 foot pounds um, tighten your chain I lift my back wheel up tighten the chain loosen this bolt right here take your wrench which is this right here stick it back up in there going down loosens it going up tightens it anyhow it's all together um, I'd say the worst part is probably just riveting the chain on it took some time uh, to get the rivets right uh, it's not like big deal though like some people make it out to be anyway it's back together um, hope you guys enjoyed my videos and whatnot this is the Nelson uh, tank bag what's cool about that is it has a no hassle warranty and everything I'm gonna be swapping out this gas tank here pretty soon so just stay tuned guys and I'll keep it keep it going subscribe if you like the channel and let me know your comments